Hey Poosh, my name is Bridget O'Carroll. I am the founder of Studio Kila. We offer some of the highest intensity of Pilates you can do from home while still focusing on mindfulness. We've done a ton of work with Poosh. So if you want to learn more about us, follow us on the Instagram at Studio Kila. But for today, I have a super quick class. It's going to be a standing energy perfect for when you are traveling because this one needs absolutely zero equipment. You don't even need to get down on the ground. So let's go ahead and get into it. Take a wide stance. Turn your toes out like a ballerina. Big breath in, arms overhead. Big breath out and lower down, letting your knees go wide, okay? Hands can be on your hips here. Down two, up two. Right away, feeling these inner thighs working for you, right, as you come down two. Up to. So at Studio Kila, it's all about finding failure in your muscles. That means we're going to be maintaining movements for a little while, allowing the tension to build until we get these little shaky feelings in our muscles. That means you're literally breaking down your muscle fibers, and that's going to force them to rebuild tomorrow. Full range. I'm going to do everything with you in five. I count you down into every move. Four more. Three. Two, it's one down, 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 all the way, up for four. Slow three, slow two, full extension one, lower down, slow. Maybe getting down a little bit lower this time. Noticing the activation, maybe even some of those shakes in your inner thighs. They're tiny little muscles, like tiny little slices of bacon. So they're pretty quick to get to failure. I'm gonna give you another angle. You just keep doing the same thing. Think about keeping your entire torso stacked on top of each other. So we're not sending our booties back in our thigh squat. So everything is stacked, core is tight as you lower and lift. Your hip mobility is going to define how far you can get down in these. Be gentle with yourself, be gentle with your joints while leaning into the muscular discomfort, okay? the good, safe kind of discomfort that allows us to grow stronger. Hold at the bottom one more time in five. Four more, just another angle. Three, two, it's one. Hold the bottom, down two, up two. Hold it down in five. Four more, three, two, it's one. Hold it down. Now lift up your right heel, pulse down two, up two. Breathe here. Switch legs in five. Four more, three, Two, it's one, right heel comes down, left heel comes up, down two, up two. Oh my God, 10 more seconds here, both heels down, back to full range in six, five, four more, three, two, it's one, both heels down, down all the way up for four, slow three, slow two, squeeze everything at the top, one, lower down. All right, we're nice and warmed up already. Core should be tight and our thighs are tight, starting to feel your glutes, especially as you squeeze at the top. We started out with these unilateral movements, so both legs are working, and now we're going to shift onto just our right leg. Okay, we burn out one leg, we're done with it, we move on to the next, okay? It's gonna be a reverse curtsy squat. We're gonna move slow, control it, another five, Four more, watch me for the visual in three, two, it's one. So stand up, right foot's in front, bring your left foot, cross it behind, bring it down, lift up, back to your inner thigh squat, down, up, cross, open, nice. So try to minimize any sort of momentum here. We're just gonna hold. In the curtsy squat, you can get your arms involved here. Left leg back behind you in five, four more. Stay here in three, two, it's one. So your curtsy is back here. I'm just going to give you another angle, just like a regular lunge, but your leg is crossed over. If it's too much for your knee, just uncross for a regular reverse lunge. Okay. Why are you leaning slightly forward than this? Down two, up two. Breathe. Down two, up two. We stand up all the way, stay in this crossover position in five. Slight bend in your front knee as you go up. Three, two, it's one up slow, down slow. 
Start to extend your arms on the way up and keep your weight forward here. So it's just your tippy toe back behind you. Slow, control it, exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way back down. Final move on the side is coming up. You're just gonna uncross your legs for a regular reverse lunge, but it's slow. It's controlled in three, two, it's one. Go ahead and uncross, right leg is forward. Just your tippy toe, your left tippy toe back behind you. Find a double 90 position. Keep your weight forward for this one. So it's gonna be a little bit different than their regular reverse lunge because we're keeping it in our glute. Stand, maintain a slight bend, sit back and down. Stand up, sit back and down. Oftentimes I'll do some of these movements with sliders or socks, but I wanted to demo today. Absolutely no equipment. Something you can do literally anytime, anywhere. You don't even need a mat. You don't even need to get down on the ground. This is one that's good for outdoors as well. All right, so we're all about the slow controlled movement, pushing the muscles to failure. But I also like to integrate these really purposeful cardio burst to allow our heart rate to rise and fall. So you can guess what's coming. It's an explosive lunge. You can either stand and squeeze, moving faster here, or you can get some air. Watch me for the visual. We're there in five, four more, three, two. It's one. This is our final variation, pulse at the bottom. Get that energy out of your fingertips on the way up. Okay, if you don't want that impact, stand and squeeze. Fingertips are energetic, or you're jumping, you're getting that air, but you're landing lightly, okay? Final thing on this leg, final variation, nothing after this. You've got another 10 inner thigh squat, eight, not yet, seven. You've got six, five more, four, three, two, it's one, find inner thigh squat, wide stance, Toes turn out, hands near hips, breathe in, breathe out as you lower, pulse here, catch your breath. All right, we're going right into a curtsy lunge. There's no break scheduled into this class. Left foot comes forward, right foot comes back behind us in five, four more, three, two. This back leg comes back behind you, okay? Steps out into an inner thigh squat. I'm gonna change my angle a little bit so you can see that better. Presses back behind you. Step to this reverse curtsy lunge. Steps out to the side. Inner thigh squat. Try to move slow, controlled. Nice, and land in your curtsy lunge, okay? Five, four more, three, two, it's one. Find that curtsy lunge, down two, up two, little pulses. Think about this double 90. Keeping most of your weight forward in your left heel. I'm out of breath, you guys. This is tough, it's designed to be. It's designed to feel a little bit out of reach to give you space to get to failure, full range. Weight stays forward, down, slowly back up in three, two, it's one up slow. Maintain that slight bend in that front leg, lower slow. You can even get your arms into it. Think about opening up your chest on the way up and then lowering back down. Gorgeous. One more pulse at the bottom in five, four more, three, two. It's one down, two, up two. We're gonna undo the cross, just a regular reverse lunge in five, four more, three, two. It's one, stand up slow. Feet hip width distance apart, left foot forward. Right toe steps back behind us. Hold your double 90, little pulse here, down two. Up two, keep your leg, or keep your weight a little bit more forward in your front leg. I'm losing my words, I am feeling this. Heart rate is still kind of high from that last cardio burst, but we just have one more. Full range, it's slow. Weight stays forward, three, two. It's one, use your arms. Up slow, down slow. You might want to tighten your stance bring your back leg a little bit closer towards you to help you keep your front leg forward. The difference is gonna be when you've got even weight on both legs, like we're used to seeing at the gym when we're sitting straight up, it's going more into your quad. 
This one's going more into your glute, keeping your weight forward in your front heel. Right, slight lean forward. Hold at the bottom, here it comes, five, four more, three, two, it's one, pulse at the bottom, up two, down two. We have our explosion to finish off this side, just like the first side, five. Stand and squeeze or get some air, three, two, it's one. Nice, maybe get some air, fingertips are energetic, adding a pulse at the bottom wherever you are, or maybe you pulse, stand and squeeze, Maintaining contact with the ground, okay? Whatever feels best for your joints today. Remember, I want muscles uncomfortable. I want your heart rate raising. They want you in a place where you can still support your form. Keep your overall alignment. And your thigh squat to finish off in five. Four more, oh my God, three, two. It's one, legs go wide. Turn your toes out, we finish off evened off. Up slow, down slow. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way back down. Hold to the bottom in three, two. It's one at the bottom, reach out to a T, palms face back behind you. Elbows squeeze behind you, palms face up. This is how we finish. So a little chest opener to finish off, maybe get a little bit lower. About your hips staying stacked. 10. We're almost out. Maybe add a little pulse for eight. Seven. Allow yourself to be out of breath here. Six. Five more. Stand up slow in three. Two. It's one. Nice job, team. Whew. That was tough. Again, my name is Bridget O'Carroll. You can find us on Instagram at Studio Keyleth.